Hi and hello everyone. What we have been seeing was this closed queuing network or closed Jackson network otherwise called as garden naval network. That is what we have seen so far. Now, what we will see next is, is you can consider that as a special class uh, or a specialized version of uh, the closed queuing network. Okay. So, what is that? So, this is called as cyclic queues or cyclic queuing networks. This you know what we are seeing is, is a special case of closed queuing network, but this can also be you know. Uh, put it into an open version actually. But this is uh, you know, more in the case of closed queuing network that it finds uh, lots of applications. Okay. And in fact, it arose uh, in a study of Taylor and Jackson in 1954 when they introduced this concept of this cyclic queue as a model for analyzing the flow of aircraft engine uh, from operation to maintenance and again to operation right operation maintenance operation right now you can think of this again something similar to your machine repairment similar okay so this is they use this as a cyclic queue and then they try to analyze and then try to you know get insights about the system of course since then like there have been a lot of work which has been uh, done on this. Okay. So, this is what is that then is a cyclic queue or cyclic net queuing network is it is basically a sort of a series queue in circle okay, where the input of the last node feeds back into the first node. So, if I want to put diagrammatically, so there is this node 1. Okay, and which feeds into node 2 and so on. So, there is this kth node, right. So, this comes from here, right, the arrival comes from here. So, this the kth node, right. So, you can call this as uh, I think mu 1, mu 2 and assume that you know you have mu k. Then what happens, right? So, this comes as an input to this, that is what it is, okay. So, you have a certain number of fixed uh, number of customers who are circulating in this network in this manner, one after the other, right? That is what we are seeing it here. This after this, they go to Q node 2 and so on up to node k. And then, so you can call this as uh, node 1, node 2, node k. It is a very simple setup. So, like a series uh, as a special case of the open network. So, this is basically a series in Q. So, you can in fact draw this diagram in a, a circle like this, right. So, that the connection becomes very nice. Here, you know, we have to connect it from here to here. But, but if you draw in the circle like this, like you know, it will come naturally to that. So, it is also like called circulant network. Sometimes, you know, this kind of things is also called in that fashion, okay. So, what is the setup? That if you consider a closed network with k nodes like this, then my Rij, which is the probability of moving from i to j at the end of service completion at node i, is 1 if j is equal to i plus 1 for i 1 to k minus 1 and when i is k, j is 1, right, that is this link, it is 1, right. All other rijs are 0, then we have a cyclic queue. So, if I take this particular rijs, then what you are going to get in a closed queuing network is a cyclic network. So, since this is a special case of closed queuing network, the results of the closed queuing network applies here you know as it is right one can apply but since this is a specialized one so you can always get something more out of that uh, than the general so for the time being you can assume that there is a single server at each node then we know the joint system size distribution would be a product form of this nature and the which is basically some constant times rho 1 to the power n 1, rho 2 to the power n 2 and so on, rho k to the power n k and the traffic equation 
right. The traffic equations here, uh, if you substitute the particular Rij's that we have here would be reduced to this for i is equal to 2 to k and for i is equal to 1 which is mu 1 rho 1 is equal to mu k rho k is what then you will get here, right. Uh, many a time because we know that this is mu i rho i is the relative utilization and mu i rho i is relative throughput which is relative lambda i is, right. So, you know you would find in many situation that people write it mu i you know rho i as a single quantity like we have did for the MB algorithm kind of thing, right. So, just that mu i rho i together you know because you whether you are determining rho i or mu i rho i together it is one and the same right. So, that is why you know you, you one writes it in that form also traffic equation, but we will keep it in this form. So, this mu i rho, rho i if we just put because there is only one value which is 1 out of all this. So, that means that the corresponding entry only like you will have this. So, this becomes this that means my rho i is equal to mu i minus 1 by mu i times rho i minus 1 or mu k by mu 1 in case of i is equal to 1 right. So, that is what you will get uh, as this rho i. Now, once I know the rho i's then you know I can put it here right. So, this is actually like this is we are writing in expanded form here that means rho 2 is mu 1 by mu 2 times rho 1 and rho 3 is mu 2 by mu 3 times rho 2. 2 actually. So, this is product ok. So, the from the first equation this is the second equation that is what you know you will get here and so on you will get then you will write this in terms of uh, you plug it here mu 1 by for rho 2 you plug it here again the you will get mu 1 by mu 3 times rho 1. So, rho 3 is mu 1 by mu 3 times rho 1 is what then you will get because rho 2 is this when you substitute here mu 2 mu 2 will get cancelled and rho 1 will get then mu 1 by this is what you will get here. So, you get all the way up to then rho k minus 1 is mu 1 by mu k minus 1 times rho 1 and rho k is this. Now, if you substitute this here in this equation right. So, to solve this what we have to do is that you know we know that the system of equations is linearly dependent and that is what you know you are coming out here you see everything can be expressed in terms of 1, but they cannot be independently determined right. So, you have to set rho 1 equal to 1 then rho 2 is equal to mu 1 by mu 2 rho 3 is mu 1 by mu 3 and so on you will get right. So, that is what you, know, you will get. Now, once you plug those quantities here for rho 1 rho 2 then you know that this mu 1 because everywhere this is mu 1 here right. So, mu 1 to the power n minus n 1 and divided by this quantity with appropriate normalization constant uh, g of n would be there here because we are assuming n customer in the system. Now, this g of n can be computed uh, as earlier right whether it through naive procedure or through convolution algorithm or Bujan, uh, that is what is Bujan's algorithm is right. So, somehow you can compute this then you determine this joint distribution. So, it is simpler form is what then you are looking at here right. So, it is mu 1 and mu 2 to mu k is what are the parameters of the model that appears in this fashion for the and you know that n 1 plus n 2 plus n k is you know is what then you are, you are going to get here ok. Because if you sum n 2 plus n 2 n k this is what you are going to get from here ok. So, this exact same expression because you know in multi server case what will be the change that we are we will be affecting here. So, multi server case can also be treated similarly without much difficulty uh, when you are looking at this cyclic Q ok. As we already pointed out the machine repairment problem is really a two node cyclic Q one uh, node for you know operation the other node for as usual for the repair facilities and then the items will move from one to the other in a cyclic fashion right. So, that is basically a two node cyclic Q is what it is a very simple network, but you know many a time the analysis you know would help us a lot you know depending upon the situation that you would have. Because there are many more specialized results which can be obtained for the cyclic queuing network ok that is possible. 
Now, as an example, consider a cyclic queue with two nodes and k circulating jobs. You now, this k we are keeping it, we are n we are picking it to be k for some reason. We will just, we will just realize it later. Okay. So, k circulating jobs are there, two nodes are there, like simple example. The first node is an exponential server with rate lambda and the second node is an exponential server with rate mu. Now, remember this can be viewed as a special case of a two node closed queuing network example that we have considered earlier. right? So, there is you know two node and after each node there could be a feedback with certain probability and it could go to the other node with certain probability that is what we had it there. So, now if you remove that feedback one, okay, then what you are going to get is exactly this problem or this example that we are looking at. So, there in that model if you are keeping in mind, if you substitute these parameters, right, there we consider m jobs. So, now we are putting it as k jobs, this p and q for the you know self feedback, immediate feedback which was if we make it 0 then it will go to only the subsequent nodes so, and with rates as lambda and mu in the two nodes. If you substitute then you are going to get this back. Nevertheless, even without going there, so you can consider this as it is and you can write the traffic equation. Now, you can see really the traffic equations becomes it just the you know two quantities and it is the same equation is what you are getting it. So, there are two unknowns one equation right that is what you know would happen in general case as well. Okay. So, we can set one of them. So, row 1 we pick it to 1. So, row 2 is it becomes then lambda by mu if you substitute from here. So, this row 1 row 2 there in the general solution then this is what you will get 1 by g of k times o 2 to the power m much like the earlier this example that we have considered. Then 1 over g of k this row 2 is this simply this you can write right. So, this is the solution where the gk is essentially this quantity which is sum over all this which is turning out to be this. Now, if you substitute gk here then I will get a complete expression, but remember here we have assumed this is a generic lambda by mu, but now we can generalize or you know, uh, be a little bit more specific for two cases. One is where lambda not equal to mu and when lambda equal to mu this is really 1 right this is also 1 and hence this is also 1 and hence like you know you have to appropriate this is 1. So, you will simply get as the required quantity only like k plus 1 right that is what you, will, you are going to get. But if you write for both these cases explicitly like lambda equal to mu lambda not equal to mu then the complete steady state solution you can see is basically this one 1 minus rho 2 rho 2 to the power m by 1 minus rho 2 to the power k plus 1 for rho not equal to 1 and for rho equal to 1 it is the discrete uniform is what you are getting here and for m is equal to 0 to k. Now, look at this distribution, look at this quantity right this we have seen already and that is corresponding to an mm 1 k system right. If you have an mm 1 k system with the parameter lambda and mu right. If you obtain the steady state number in the system in that mm 1 k system then you saw that you obtained exactly this expression where rho 2 is lambda by mu. So, here so this one also you are obtaining it to be exactly the same. So, that means what there is an equivalence right this kind of things you know we have seen already say for example, in the case of Erlang and in the uh, connected with the bulk right Erlangian models to the bulk queues like we have made the equivalence. Similarly, for the cyclic ones right the finite space model okay, you know one can make equivalence so that you know the properties can be studied nicely. And again you know I would say that you can if you are interested you can look in the literature that you know how these kind of equivalence have been utilized to study a queuing network or the other way around whichever way. So, because these are in, in some way equivalent system right. So, this two node cyclic queue as we described here it may be considered as an equivalent to mm 1 k system and this might be of some help as we said when we try to analyze the model in some details in this case. Okay. So, that is the example that we have. 
again we said that this is we considered as a closed queuing network. So, you can also think about a open network scenario also, but more application oriented stuff happens only in the closed network context. So, that is why now we restrict here. Okay. Again we want need not study this separately because this you can study as a special uh, as a part of closed queuing network. Similarly, the open one you can study as part of an open direction network no problem. As we always say it may be convenient, it may be useful that you know you study these special systems in more detail to which you know to that end like that might be of some help. Okay. So, that is what is about cyclic queues that we would we are seeing. Okay. Now, we will you know try to end this discussion on queuing network on you know what was further happening and what are the directions in which you know this has gone ahead. Because what we started when we started we said that we are going to look at within the Markovian framework only, Markovian network only. We are still within that. Even within that there are a lot of extension and there are beyond that also there are. Now, if you look at Jackson network itself, we will see a certain extensions of Jackson network. We are not going in detail, but we will just highlight what are the extensions and so on. So, as we said there have been many directions in which the Jackson networks have been generalized like to include state dependent arrivals, state dependent service and you know the travel time between nodes right. It may not be the case that you know the, the customer who leaves the previous node suppose the following node is uh, you know empty in a way. So, then his service starts the moment he leaves the previous node. So, in that case what we are looking is looking at suppose if he is going if he is if he is going and you know waiting in the queue then it does not matter, but provided if that server is free then we are taking it in our model things like you know you can understand that as if you know his service the second service for the second and the subsequent node the service starts immediately at the moment you know he service is completed in the previous one. Okay. But that means that we are assuming that there is no travel times between nodes, but you know in reality there are some travel times. Now, how one can do? One way is you think the travel time itself is corresponding to some kind of node. Okay. So, the travel time between one that you see is you know a node with uh, you know multi server, a ample server, infinite server. So, that you know everyone keeps moving without any hindrance, but if there is a hindrance then again you have to models appropriately, but without if there is any difficulty if they are moving then you can think that is you know corresponding to an infinite server model and then one can put certain time duration that will be the travel time for that node. Okay. But otherwise one can explicitly also incorporate the travel times these are all certain extensions that has happened with respect to Jackson. Jackson himself did say for example, this state dependent exhaust arrivals and so on few years later when after he gave the first ones. Okay. But out of all those extensions the most significant and the useful form of extension of Jackson network was to the case of multi classes, multi class network or a Jackson network with multiple classes of customers and in addition to that along with certain you know queuing disciplines. right? which is what is considered by Basket, Chandy, Munz and Palacios in 1975 and with their you know first letter. So, these networks are called as BCMP network. This is the standard network because this has lots of features and it can quite very well incorporate the things that you want to do. So, in, in use if you if you see if in use today BCMP network would be you know the most useful network that you could see. So, what are this? So, this BCMP network consider different service disciplines as well as different classes of customers say there are Q classes of customers. So, you have as usual K nodes, Q class of customers, customers circulate in the network and may change class as they move from one node to the another. Okay. This is a main feature that you know they, they, they are not you know remain in the same class as they move through the network, they keep changing their classes. right? 
maybe this fellow i mean you can look at in in some um, manufacturing or production so some processes might have come some process might have come after that when you put together you know this brings out to some other classes it might go depending upon what had happened right so the classes changing is also relevant feature in many situations okay so this pcmp consider such a scenario that they may change class as they move from one node to the other so for example a customer of class r completing service at node i next goes to node j right as a class s customer is denoted by p i r comma j s and hence the routing matrix would be of this for i and j of this and one and r and s r between the classes so the service rate of uh, a customer of class r at node i is in general assumed to be mu i r is a some uh, basic fundamental setup that you have here in addition the, the product form solution where is the usefulness when we said you know we are still within the you know realm of your product form networks so that is what is the main idea so this uh, bcmp network gives product form solution for this whatever the basic set uh, setup or basic assumption that we have mod given for the following cases of queue disciplines one is the processor sharing queue which you know processor sharing queue means that you know the available service capacity is distributed equally among the customers who are waiting in the system at, at any point of time that's a processor sharing like our internet whatever is happening right and ample service which means uh, any number of servers inference server case and last come first serve with preemptive resume servicing okay now here in this setup when bcmp gave this result of the product form solution they did give for this in that generality as exogenous poisson input with state dependent and, and service distribution can be phase type you know it is not just cannot be exponential that's why you know in the, we just talked about the rate here we didn't talk about the uh, the distribution of uh, for which this is the rate right it could be even phase type distribution and also they also gave one more class of q disciplines for which this product form solution holds uh, that is for a c server fcfs node but now the service times of all classes must be iid exponential which means what as far as node is concerned all customer types look alike there is no distinction between right so it is as if you know only in that case they obtained uh, the product form solution of course there were generalizations again as happens in any area from that point onwards along these lines this is one of the most useful and of course you know one can you know easily write down with these assumptions like you know, the traffic equations obtain the solution and write down the product form and uh, the normalization constant uh, you can obtain it much like the other queuing networks that we have considered okay so is is not much difficulty there essentially right once we specify the assumption but anyway we are not going into that so i am just highlighting that you know there is some such thing called bcmp network which is what is the most useful form of queuing network as far as applications are concerned that is what you know you have to take it okay now kelly consider some other generalizations of jackson networks and that included extensions to some of the most general queuing disciplines in fact the bcmp whatever the consider most of them also would fall within this generalization okay uh, he obtained product form solution with erlang service distributions in the general setting itself and also conjectured for more general distribution also that must be true because only the mean service time and was was appearing in the product form that was the reason like but then it was proved later anyway so that is true that for general case also that is true so this bcmp extensed network and kelly's uh, extensions in fact kelly's book you uh, know Re reversibility and network you know it's available freely online and where you know he had given lots of work on whatever he has done along with up to that point of time it's a very good resource if uh, 
and you are looking at you know something on network and more details okay right so that's the these are theoretical developments okay at the same time as these theoretical developments happening the theory developed uh, you know when the product form solution you know, always you look for product form solution because that makes your life easier if you have to keep it as it is in the full generality like what happens in the case of a key network with blocking then the complexity is uh, you know it's exponentially very high right so it's very difficult to handle but even so you want to keep it still in product form even then you have a lot of issues with computationally when you want to compute but when you don't have product form then you know it's very difficult to do that of course okay so that's why you you keep looking for under which what the generation that i can make so that you know i am with well within the product form solution format okay while this was happening there were attention were also towards efficient procedures or algorithms for obtaining the computational results again in each case you have to look at uh, the normalization constant for example whether it is open or closed network whichever form you know you are looking at it you still have to compute that because the product form it is even in open case we did not assume that it is basically factored into the product of marginals it just that it's a product form so still you will have a normalization constant which you need to compute obviously in closed queue network that's a you know inevitable thing but in open also like in within that form only like we are calling it as product form network so within that then again you will have a normalization constant now how you will compute in efficient way you know all the, that's aspect also have to be looked at otherwise in the theoretically you, know, you are developing but the applicability will be limited if you are not having a procedure for that so that side by side one has to look at that aspect as well and that aspects are you know going on till today you know you can say that you know the various extensions keep coming and then depending upon the necessity to model many real life phenomena as they evolve like the more complex situations that comes the more complex model will become and then you know you try to analyze that then you try to see how we can implement it then computational aspects you always look at so this is a, a never ending um, process so it is always on like in any other field there is nothing peculiar about queuing network or queues alone that such kind of scenarios are happening so it is across the board for any research to develop okay so that's the you know we'll end here of course you can also talk about non jackson network as an extension and some other something called something called as last network see here we have assumed that all mm1 type or mmc type in each node suppose if you have instead of this model if you are keeping last model say for example the erlang's last model suppose if you are keeping it in the as part of node then such a network is called last networks again it has applications in computer and communication field such network so one can talk about like this with different aspects different angles beyond even jackson network right but uh, you know that's for you to explore further okay so we will stop here our, our discussion on this queuing network we have just restricted ourselves to markovian framework considered open and closed queuing network basically open jackson and closed jackson network and how one can handle that situation that's it okay thank you bye